I'm here with Emmanuel Cabongo, who plays Junior Lolo in CBC's new drama series, 21 Thunder. Thanks so much for, for chatting with me. I know you're super busy, but I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Now, I watched the, uh, the trailer for 21 Thunder, and the series looks really, really good and really captivating. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So talk to me a bit about the premise of the show. For those who don't know, what is 21 Thunder about? It's a story about a group of soccer players. We follow a group of soccer players and some of their coaches. And so um, through these players, you see how some players make it to the professional soccer league and mm -hmm. how some players don't make it to the professional league. And uh, this team is the academy team of, um, it's a fictional story. So in Montreal right now, their, um, soccer, their professional soccer team is called the Montreal Impact. In our story, it's called 21 uh, Thunder, I mean, wait, I mean no, Thunder, Montreal Thunder. Right. And the uh, 21 comes from the team having, uh, being the 21 and under team for the boys. Each um, principal character has their own little story that you follow. Right. So, for example, uh, Junior Lolo is from the Ivory Coast. He's being scouted to play for this team, but he could go anywhere he wants. He could go to Europe, he could go uh, to the United States, he could go to South America. But, you know, he decides, hey, you know, I want to I wanna go to Montreal. I have these, these uh, demands, and I'm only going to play for you guys if you do this, this, and that. So, upon arrival to Montreal... Uh, through this character, you see what it's like to be a newcomer. Right. You know, you kind of get uh, an immigrant story from this character. In what ways would you say you're similar to Junior? Oh, in many ways, actually. Funny enough, I actually wanted to be a soccer player growing up. Uh, I was born in the Republic of Congo, and I relocated to South Africa when I was six. So from the age of six to the age of 11, 12, we lived in, my family and I, my siblings and my mother, we lived in South Africa. So every day, all we did was play soccer, 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 watch FIFA. When I came to Toronto in uh, the late 90s, mm -hmm. I wanted to play soccer. You know, it's like Junior, he wants to play soccer right. to kind of make his family proud. It was the same thing for me. I wanted to yeah. play soccer, Junior is a responsible you know he cares very much about his mom mm -hmm. and his younger brother i'm the same way i'm the oldest of six and i care very much about my uh, my siblings and i care very much about my own mother and really wanting to make her proud so there are these similarities um with with this character so i feel very fortunate and lucky for this opportunity now what kind of research or training did you do to prepare oh, for this oh my role? god I did a lot of things. So I had to like create the history, right? Yeah. So this is what I did. So I researched Ivory Coast. Okay. And then I had to pick a city. So I picked the capital city. And in the capital city, I had to pick a village. So I picked the village. And I had to go find what soccer teams, what local soccer teams play in this village. So I found a, a, a local team. And then I'm like, okay, Junior will probably play for this team. I also had to do some dialect coaching. Okay. So the production was able to get us a, a dialect coach who was from the Ivory Coast. So she came in prior to filming. You, you put all of that at risk today. Myself and the actor um, playing my younger brother, his name is Tamela Mpumluwana. He's got a hard last name but I hope I said it right. We ha I had to learn uh, a, a language from the Ivory Coast. It's called Akan. And then after doing all that research, because I play soccer, I had to right. repolish myself. Right. Funny enough, before traveling uh, to Montreal, moving to Montreal for three weeks, I was playing in a men's soccer league. It was a good warm up, you know, because I was already playing. Good thing I didn't get injured because that right. would have been really, really bad. I remember me and some of the cast members, um, some of them wanted to break into their soccer cleats that they got, and I wanted to do the same. So we all grouped up one, one afternoon and decided to go on a field. And I saw this young boy practicing with his personal coach, and I was just yeah. watching him. And I'm like, wait a second. Look at that kid run. He's running fast, making hard cuts, kicking the ball very well, and he's fairly young. 
So I'm like, and I'm watching how he walks, his demeanor, his yeah. walk, you know, his yeah. swagger. And I said, wait a second, that's that's Junior right there. <laughs> I'm like, yep, that's him. So I started to kind of mirror this kid's walk in a way, and it fit perfectly. Uh, one thing I like to do is create a, uh, a playlist, okay. songs for the character. Like, right. what kind of songs would this person listen to? Yeah. So I'm like, what kind of music would Junior listen to? You know, so I picked songs like Stromae, you know Stromae? No, I don't. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I picked that, that artist, another French artist from Africa, and um, I also picked, like, theme songs from FIFA 1996. Do you really want it? <laughs> yes! <Yeah. laughs> yeah, yeah, so things like that, you know, th that's the homework I did. 21 Thunder was shot on location, on location. in Montreal. In Montreal. Oui. What was the filming process like? Whew. Well, so we, we, we started filming in August, late August, early September. Okay. So the weather was fairly fine. Yeah, you know, nice. Fall, summerish sometimes. Yeah. And perfect for playing soccer. Perfect, for, exactly, right? But then you hit October. Uh oh. Oh my God. I had to do my first big soccer scene and I have to kick the ball from like this unbelievable spot, right? But you can and do it because you've been. In... Well, I was practicing. Okay. I was practicing for at least for at least two weeks. Like I got this. I got this. So we're filming this. I mean, we're doing this rehearsal, and I'm practicing. I'm kicking the ball a certain way, and then the consultant comes to me and says, "Well, you know, if you kick the ball like that, it's not going to look real enough." Uh -oh. You know, you have to kick it a certain way. But then I'm like, yeah, but if I kick it like that, I get more power with my legs. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I don't know. So we had to change my form of how oh. I was kicking the and ball. And you've been practicing the same yeah. form for yeah. two weeks yeah. now, yeah. all right? So I find out they want to use this, this, this machine to prop the ball. I'm like, mm-mm. <laughs> They, they're not going to use that machine on the day. No, I'm going to do everything in my power so they don't. Time to shoot this scene. Um, it's raining. Oh no. And it's cold. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> so like my everything is my, yeah, against you. My feet are cold. I'm trying to kick the ball, and these balls are new, you know. So a new ball is sometimes very hard. It's right. not just uh, worn in and played with. It's hurting my toes. Oh, no. It's hurting my feet, and I'm having a hard time. And I'm seeing some of the other players kick the ball from where I have to kick, and they're making it look so easy. And I'm just like, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. I can't do it. And we finally got one. I was so happy. Oh. And, I, and I think that's the reaction they ended up using. That's the take they ended up using, because my reaction, <laughs> My reaction in that take was actually my reaction for me feeling good that yes, I kicked it, right? Were able right? To yeah, do it. yes. How did 21 Thunder challenge you as an actor? Uh, the biggest lesson I learned is just to be prepared because anything can change at any moment. You know, I could give you an example. Uh, I had, there was one day where I had like four scenes, the day was very long. And um, we also got hit with the rain, mm -hmm. so we had to, you know, cut a few things. Right. And so on this specific day, I had three scenes, and I knew the order of when we were going to film them. And we had like 20 minutes left to to film three scenes. Oh no! Not enough time. No, that's as not you know. Happen. So they ended up cutting one of the scenes, the scene that I was getting ready to start doing. Like cutting entirely, like or just, just moving. Into just moving. Day? They were thinking of moving it to another okay. day. So mentally, I had to kind of reset myself, right? And emotionally as well, because it was an emotional scene. We're doing the scene, and I can't get it. I'm having a hard time, oh, no. and I'm telling the director, I just ah. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I had it prepared. He's like, don't worry, man. You just, you have, you just have, you have two takes, that's it. And I'm just like, okay, fine, two takes. We do the two takes. I don't feel good about any of them. Uh -oh. and he's like, okay, moving on. <gasps> and I'm just like, so my energy kind of died at that time, but I had to just, you know, stay professional right. and, and work with my scene partner because, you know, time is just running. Now, you're also in the acclaimed Canadian web series, Teenagers. Yes. 
which currently has over 8 million hits on YouTube. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you ever think it would be such a success when you first started working on it? No. No. Not at all. Not even... I knew the writing was good. Right. Uh, when I met Matthew Murray, it's just this quiet kid with a red bandana on his head, and from he was from Mississauga, just very, you know, kind of odd. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm writing this web series. When I met you, I had I had you on in mind for this right. character I'm developing, and here's four 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 uh, episodes. Would you like to read? And I read the first four because there was only four at the time. Okay. And I told him, I felt so good. I'm like, oh my God, this kid can write. He's so good. And I wrote right back and I said, hey buddy, do you think you can write four, four more? Yeah. And at the time I had done this film called The Animal Project right. with um, Ingrid Veninger. And through her, I learned the whole idea of co-ops. And I said, well, if you could write four more, we could probably do a co-op for this, you know? And he, right away he replied, he's like, uh, okay. And he wrote four more episodes, and next thing you know, we have eight episodes. And I got some of my friends involved. He got other people he was already working with involved. And next thing you know, we, we put out a trailer, and people liked the trailer, and it just caught fire. And, you know, we released the first four, and next thing you know, it had, it, it, it had its, its own feet. Yeah. In a way, you know, we didn't really have to do much. But... I think what really helped it was the actors involved. What do you think it is about the series that audiences relate to? The realness. It really hits the core mm -hmm. of what it means to be a teenager. Last year, I was, I was going to L.A. and uh, I, I got to the airport and I see this young man. He walks up to me and says, sorry, sir, I don't mean to bother you, but are you, are you on this, on this, in this web series called uh, Teen? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, oh man, I love your show. Oh, we got a third season coming out. You just jumped my question. Ah, <laughs> bitch you to it. We got a third season coming out. Yeah, we just. What can we expect? Well, we got, we got uh, just a little surprise. A good friend of mine, Matt Murray. He was an actor on um, Rookie Blue. He's got a little cameo in it. He plays one of my best friends on the show. Uh, the episodes are gonna be a bit longer. So what you can expect is, it's gonna be hotter, grittier, sexier, more real. Oh, we can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, what, in your opinion, what do you love most about living in Ontario? Um, diversity, opportunity, and uh, education. So that's what I like about Ontario is anywhere you go there's a Tim Hortons <laughs> and we can't we can't fault that no. we love our Tim Hortons yes we do us yeah. Canadians. Yeah. you call LA home now Toronto's home oh LA is second home okay yeah. well you're yeah. living in LA now yes yeah so what was the biggest change you noticed moving from Toronto to Los Angeles the traffic oh my god and I, we think our traffic I bad. thought <laughs> Toronto traffic was bad you were there. <laughs> oh my God. Also, um, everybody's in the entertainment business in there. You know, you go hiking, you hear people talking about scripts, you know, you go down the street to buy some bread, you hear people talking about editing, you know, you go to the park walking your dog, you hear people talking about lighting. Everywhere <laughs> you go, <laughs> everywhere you go, someone is in the industry. Well, thank you so much. Yes, you're welcome. I really, I really enjoyed chatting with you. But mm -hmm. before I let you go, yes. I thought it'd be fun to play the Jinx Challenge. What is that? Well, I'm going to explain it. Okay. <laughs> so my lovely co-producer, Leah, Leah, came up with a bunch of different categories. Uh -huh. So we'll, we will read the categories, and then um, on the count of three, we both have to name something from that category. And okay. if we say the same thing, then it's a jinx, and that's what we want, and that's our we goal. Want, we want uh, a we jinx. Want, we want a jinx. Yes, we Sounds want a jinx. Good. Lady K, out. <laughs>